Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, this month, the month of November, can you believe that? Um, Eileen Hall's team are working in collaboration with Gel Press. Um, gel Press, as you know, are the gel printing plates and they come in all shapes and sizes. Um, I have a selection here, so we have a pack of the three different shapes. I hope you can see this okay without glare. We have the teardrop which to me is also a flower petal. We have a um, chevron, an arrow, <clears throat> um, and we have a wing. So bird wing, angel wing, could actually just be a bird in its own right, the way, the way you decorate with it. Uh, so I'm going to be having a little play with those. Haven't got those dirty yet, but we're about to. And <clears throat> moving that to one side. Oh, excuse me. Ow, a frog in my throat. So, I'm going to be working on the big popper of gel printing presses. Look at this. So, this is the 12 inch by 14 inch gel press. And in the actual packaging, you do get instructions on how to clean and store um, and also how to use it lots of information and um, instructions on there and basically it's a case of get playing and see what happens so i have been playing with a mixture of paper artsy uh, paints and my briar i apologize for this because if you know me you know that orchid was my favorite and when it was discontinued i bought at least a dozen of them so i've been playing with orchid sky Lilac, Snowflake, the Yummy Chocolate Pudding and I've also got Old Gold here but I haven't used that yet. I have got my smaller uh, Speedball Brea to play with and on the side, uh, just slightly out of sight, um, I've got a selection of various stencils. I've got some smaller ones. These you'll recognise from um, the Crafters Workshop I was playing with um, a couple of weeks ago. So we have the straight lines and we have the, I think it's called, is it Messy Script? I do apologise. Messy Writing. Um, I found out some, I found some of my other um, stencils, some of the larger ones. These are also Crafters Workshop as well. Um, also uh, bubble wrap <laughs> which is absolutely fabulous to play with on the gel press so I'll show you a few that I've actually uh, played with already and I might actually add on to today but I thought it would be a cool idea to work on one of Eileen's uh, notebooks the new notebook die so I've cut out several pieces and I thought we'll do a couple of them and we'll just decorate them directly from uh, monoprinting on the gel press so we'll see how that goes if it's an epic fail well I have several sheets already um, that I've been playing with so the, the colours are very subtle but the, my colours the turquoises and pinks and you can see areas of um, the chocolate pudding from the, the bubble wrap I've worked on both sides so these are ready then for other projects I can use them again I can uh, print on top of them again <clears throat> to add more colour and texture. You can see another favourite stencil of mine which is a brick wall and that looks absolutely fabulous. This is a sheet I was cleaning everything off onto so nothing gets wasted as far as I'm concerned. That will have a use somewhere along the line whether it gets cut down, whether I, I monoprint more over the top of it. Likewise with this one as well when I'd overloaded the um, chocolate pudding a little too much which is kind of usual for me really isn't it? Chocolate pudding or custard. Hmm. Um, so yeah I mean there's a, a mixture here. Some are quite subtle you can make out the dragonfly and you can make out the circles, the basket weave. And again, the dragonfly on this one, slightly different technique. I've ended up with a clean dragonfly and then the outer edges uh, are brought to life by the pink. And again, the circle. And I quite like that. This one, um, I think there was a little bit too much oil on the actual plate from cleaning it because I wipe mine down with baby oil because it conditions the plate and leaves it um, ready for the next use. And I think that there was a little bit of repelling 
from the paint against the baby oil on the plate and it's created I don't know I really like it it's quite um a little bit of an animal print to me it's a little bit of a snakeskin kind of effect so that was found by accident but it's it's very very cool and this again that's just cleaning things off um and then adding things on you can see the stencils clearly here with the lines there is a little bit of scripting here as well that you can just about make out and again on the other side you can see the, the script a little clearer I was taking prints and also I was cleaning the stencil off on the paper at the same time along with the bubble wrap so we've got both sides the positive and the negative <clears throat> oh I apologize I don't know where this rotten tickles come from the minute you sit down to do something something happens doesn't it it's just been one of those months this month you know when anything that can go wrong goes wrong <laughs> celery so there you go that's what I've been up to and that one's just going to peel away very carefully and I actually love these so the options that I had were to die cut out of mount board some covers to do a print directly from the gel press or I can actually gel press onto paper and this is a 120 GSM so it's quite it's a heavier weight paper this is this is the um, weight that I print off onto if I've downloaded any um, journal kits, paper kits from, from Etsy, from any of the sellers there because it's a really good weight for holding other mediums on top of the ink I'm working with. Um, so yeah, I mean we can always, you could always adhere this to the, the mount board and then die cut it and it's done that way or you can do like we're going to do first of all which is actually work directly from the gel press so i have a plan if it all goes wrong <laughs> we might work on some of those again but i've got a little stash of um clean papers at the side of me and my eileen hull journals now i'm actually i'm quite new to working with the gel press i've worked with a small one but quite a long time ago and i've watched lots of tutorials and they're YouTube channel is absolutely fantastic. They have got so many great ideas on there. Um, so inspirational, I've got to say, and I learned an awful lot, as well as learning a lot with um, trial and error, which I must admit, that's how I like to learn. I like to see what happens when things go wrong. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but I like to know how they went wrong, why they went wrong, and is it a new technique or is it something I, I really do not want to be doing again? So as I'm going across the plates, what I learned was the first layer that you put down, and I've just used two colours on this one. I've used the gorgeous, sorry, orchid, and um, snowflake, which I will call snowball at some point because I always do. There's a little bit of a resist coming on because there's a little bit of oil left on the plate from when I cleaned it. Um, so I'm going to clean the brayer back down, take that back down, give that a little clean on there which gives me a starting point and I can also see these little hair or piece of fluff somewhere about which is quite normal really for us here. Um, so I'm going to go on and I'm going to take some bubble wrap I think first of all and I'm going to take some of the paint off using the bubble wrap and I'm going to lift that and that gives you, it's quite a big bubble wrap so it gives a really great splodgy circular effect. Did come out right? Circular? I get too excited when I do this. So we're going to have some bubble wrap up there and I just clean this off on my piece of paper at the side and I love that effect, I think that's absolutely fabulous. And then I think what I want to do is have um, some lines going into it. I want to create kind of a border. So I'm going to pop down the line stencil and I'm going to brayer over the top of it and take some off, pop it onto my paper at the side of me. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of that off. Okay. And then, over the top of there, I'm just going to give the chocolates 
put in a little shake I'm going to put an absolute dab watch it slurt out there we go absolute dab of chocolate pudding and I'm going to bray that over the top and it's not going to cover it completely and then going to bray that down the paper and you see how we get building up little patterns on the paper at the side now then I'm going to move my stencil along in fact I'll clean it first on here let's give it a little roller clean that side on that side there we go we've squished some that gorgeous chocolate pudding on that side we'll pop the brayer there we'll take a little of that colour off and I think what I'm going to do is turn this sheet round and work on this side my desk is not big enough can you believe it this table is five foot and I'm in a little tiny cramped space which I need to get my mm, gear and sort this desk out that's my plan before the end of the month not really planning much am I how many days have we got left to the end of the month not many have you all started all your Christmas decorations got the tree up yet my husband's downstairs and he's ah look there's that hair um he's actually finishing off the decorating in our living room um and as soon as that's done our tree is going up the decorating has been an ongoing saga as some of you know we actually started it oh gosh the end of summer last year and it's been one of those things that anything and everything came along and we had to stop and i just thought right okay it's obviously not meant to be at this time the timing is not right uh so yeah i had to wait quite patiently but we are getting there now two walls to go when i can clean the carpet and wash the curtains <laughs> so i don't know whether you can pick up on this or not but this is the actual sheet of paper that i've been um cleaning the brayer on so it's had layers of um just paint roller and then layers of um it's where the brayer's picked up the pattern and where i've also uh, clean the stencil through so what I want to do is I just want this to dry a little bit excuse me wafting I just want it to dry ever so slightly and the paint does dry quite quickly that's one of the great things about the um, the fresco finish paints they're beautiful to work with I love these I used them a long time actually I used to go to Port Sunlight over on the Wirral and watch Leandra demonstrate and I always came away learning something and with a huge bag of goodies and no pennies left in my purse <laughs> okie dokie so what colour should we go on to here with I think we'll have a little bit of blue let's just go all out give it a little shake and the top layer can be a little bit thicker because it's going to lift the print and I think I'm just going to do um, the entire top layer. Oop, hang on, that's got to go blob in a minute. We'll do the entire top layer blue. If blue wants to come out. Oop. Come on. Right, see how. And um, the brown is ever so slightly wet still i'm going to keep going and we'll see i mean that's the beauty of um the gel press you you're never going to pull two prints that are the same i've got a few splodgy bits of blue paint on there and um, the dried bits from around the edge but i'm not bothered i'll be honest i'm just i'm just not bothered about that at all I'll have a blue on there. We'll take a little bit more off and we'll roll it down that side. A little more from this side. Okay. So now we're going to go on directly with um, 
the notebook cover. Which way around should we do it? We'll do it that way. Don't think about it, do it. Don't think about it, do it. So, I'm going to make sure that there's contact, let's get these sleeves out of the way, make sure that there's contact with the cover all over and back of the cover as well. And let's see whether we've managed to take a print. Oh, there's nothing left on the um, gel press. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. So I'm going to flip that down here, press that one down, and then the inside cover will match the outer cover as well. So please let this one have worked as well as that one. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's gorgeous. I really, really love that. And again, I am going to pop that down here. I hope you can see this. It's such a big gel press. I really wanted the biggest one because you can actually do um, gel presses straight onto t-shirts and cushion covers and fabric and things. And I love sewing, I love patchwork and I just thought it would be a great addition and I, I would get more use from a larger one. Oh, that's just perfect for the inside. And if I wanted to fill in these gaps, I could just go back and I could just pick up a little more color from there to get rid of that white but I actually I quite like a little bit of white on there um, I think that's that's great so I'm really really happy with that and we'll lift this one and again oh I am uber happy with that very very happy with that so can we lift any more prints off before this dries let's see I've got two more covers cut out so we will try and I've also got some of the, I've got a pen tab that is there and I've got, that's actually the slip for going over the paper within the notepad, we'll have one of those, we'll have another one there, let's do two at once. yeah we've pulled a little bit of a print off that is super duper really happy with that and that and that oh yummy let's get some blue on that side Love. This is another pen holder. And then let's do the other cover. Wow. Oh, it's got a little bit on there, so it's a start, isn't it? That's lifted the edge, but that's fine. That's cool with me. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to add, what should we add on? We'll add a little bit of blue. I'm not going to clean it, I'm just going to carry on working from this. These two covers are finished and I absolutely love those, so I'm not going to do anything else with those at all. I'm going to leave them as is. And the others are a great starting point. So we'll have some blue and we'll have, what should we have on here? Some more pink. Actually, let, let's add Lilo because it's not fair me using my favourite pink if this still doesn't exist. Hey ho, we'll use Lilac. It's another favourite. So I'll pop that on and get this covered over. And you can see that I lift my brayer. Before I get to the end, I lift the brayer. It's, um, I don't know, you just get. A more even coat of the paint going on. Oh, that's yummy. And oh gosh, I've made a mess here now. Let's just flip that over. And I'll 
lovely in the brayer on that side. So what shall we have on here now? Um, I think we'll do the same again, you know, we'll do, we'll do dots and lines. And we'll get rid of that onto there. Nope, it doesn't show up as clearly, but that's fine. We can see them on here and we will have some lines along here. We'll do the same as last time. We'll take a little bit off. because the, the sky blue is very opaque. And we'll just give that a very quick clean here. Roll it off. Oh, in fact, now let's pop that back on. There we go. Pop you back on there. And we will put on chocolate. pattern going that way, another pattern going that way, and then we will whip that off, give it a little clean. And pop that back on there. So we're taking paint off and it's drying quite quickly. And I'm going to add up a chocolate pud. Oh, that was too much. Whoa. Let's scoop some of that back in. We don't need all that. And we'll roll that in because we're not trying to cover the whole thing. We just want a little colour adding randomly. There we go. And clean that off. And again, we just want to dry, let the plate dry just a little bit. Um, so we'll give it a little waft. So this is what we've just um created on this side i love this area here that's beautiful i mean i can chop that down i can add to it the other side is absolutely gorgeous that would make a fabulous journal cover so just give it a little waft oops sorry i do apologize i bubbled you give it a little waft and then what color should we have should we have white you've got lilac blue Chocolate, let's do snow. And this is the layer that's going to lift the print. So this one can be a little bit thicker. So I like that side, that side's got some darkness to it. So let's some white on there. There we go. Oh, I love watching the layers build up and the piece of paper that you use for cleaning everything onto. It's just as beautiful as, as what you're creating when you lift the prints. So right here we go. Let's get these back. We've got one that we've done already, so what I think we're going to do, that's the outside, so we'll, um, we'll work on that one first. Because we had lots of gaps on that one, didn't we? And we'll take that off. Ah, oh, that's better. That is absolutely fabulous. But what we could do is, I could turn it around the other way and I can lift a print and get some lines onto it. Just pop that 
there. Let's lift this one, see how this has worked out. Fabulous again. But again, I think I'm going to do the same thing and get some lines on it. Perfect. So that was two prints. So really happy with that one. So I'm going to get some colour on the back. Let's pop that there. See what we can lift from there. I mean, you can use your brayer on the back as well. Fabulous. And let's do the same with this one. See what we can lift. Oh, that's wonderful. Just a little bit on the edge. So. Yeah, really loving that. And look at the colourways of these. It, we've used exactly the same. I love it how they coordinate. Come on. We. Oh, yes, that's yummy. Love that. Absolutely love that. So really pleased with those two. I'll put those to one side. And we only need to see this side. So we'll just add a bit more onto there. Beautiful. And the same with these. We'll add a little more colour. And what I want to do with this one is add some colour on the inside as well. Because you will see a little bit of that. Okay. Perfect. How quick and easy is that? And yet it's different. Really, really different. That's beautiful. I really like that. And this uh, cleaning up paper. I am going to pop here and roll it. In fact, you could roll her. It doesn't matter if you get anything else on here because we're going to do both sides anyway. And that's going to lift off anything that's remaining um, on the plate. And fill the edges in. Gosh, look at that. Oh, that is yummy. So if we can get a little bit more down here. Ooh. Sliding off. I've just left the um, protective cover on the underneath. Okay, I really like that. So what I want to do um, is just have a little play with these smaller um, plates. So I'm going to pop um, some lilac and a little bit of the sky blue. And just spread those out. It will pick up whatever's left underneath as well, which is fine by me. I'm sticking with the same colour scheme with this one. And then what I want to do is stencil. Do a little more stenciling at the side. And take that off as well. Need a big stencil cleaning session. <laughs> I'm going to pop bubble wrap. And 
what else can we use? I want something bigger than the bubble wrap. Um, I want. <laughs> let's have. Excuse me for reaching out of sight. We'll use the lid um, from the stencil butter, and we'll just add some circles in. Just random circles. Whoa, ooh. Ooh, oh, okay, we like that. And that was a little accident, twisting and slipping. But we'll take that. <laughs> and what about the other side of the lid? What happens with that? cleaning up session after this one <laughs> so um i now want to pick up some of that i'm going to use the teardrop first of all i use the teardrop and i'm just going to leave it on its protective film just while i pick some up if i can take some of this off and see what happens so this is gel press to gel press. Uh, it's, it's not wet enough. Let's um, let's add the Snow White on there. It's drying fairly quickly in here, and I don't know why because it's absolutely a freezing today. The weather has really changed, and it, the wind is very um, icy. And it's quite funny because there's um, a programme on TV that's just started last night called I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here. And it's filmed just down the road from where I live and I bet they're all perishing. And it's been lovely and sunny and warm up until they all arrived. <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> okay, let's pop that out of the way. Let's try again and see what happens. Oh, is it not going to lift off? Make a flower shape onto there. Oh, that's gone a bit skew with, but never mind. Autistic license and all that. <laughs> Okie dokie. So let's take a print up here and see what we've got, whether that's worked or not. Put that down and we'll give it a briar. And we'll see what we've got. It will either work or it won't. And I don't mind picking up a little bit of the um, paint onto the back because that's just the beginning of another page. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love those. So we can see the flower here and we can see the um, skew wifty one. 
over on this side really like that that is great so on the other side can we pick up all this I wonder and here's the brayer again and just clean the gel press down a little bit I'm not wasting any of the paint from around the edge Okie dokie. So I am going to go and wash all my bits and pieces off the desk and then I will see you back here with the finished item. Okie doke. Bye. Like a bird on a tree